was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been There's no one can stop me, Lynx is a conqueror No, I'm Alexander, he's no Alexander I'm the best ever, there's never been anybody ruthless I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me I'm from their club, there's no one that can match me My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable Thanks for tuning in. The Art of Defense three-part series. We'll be taking a look at some of our favorite boxers, past and present, and a deeper look at some of their defensive strategies and tactics and some of their favorite moves. But first, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. What is defense? It's more than just avoiding punches. It's about minimizing damage, conserving energy, and putting yourself in a positive position to capitalize on opportunities. Boxers spend hours perfecting defense, working on different techniques, from footwork to blocking, parrying, rolling, slipping and countering. To be a good defender, you must have all of these attributes. Defense is just as important as offense, but it's sometimes overlooked. Those with elite defense can usually take their career to the next level. First up, Mike Tyson, who's well known for his ferocious power punching. Mike Tyson has recorded some of the fastest knockouts in boxing history, with a record of 50 wins, 6 losses, and 44 knockouts. It was really a cruel style of boxing. It basically kept both your hands up, and it basically twist at your waist and you move, and you come forward and make the guy miss your counter punch. He's often referred to as the baddest man on the planet, and one of the greatest heavyweights of all times. There are many different boxing styles. We have the boxer, the boxer puncher, the brawler, but Mike Tyson had great head movement. He used the peekaboo style throughout his reign. Hands up using side to side head movement, slipping punches while walking down his opponent. Tyson would get past the jab and land big shots, putting his opponents down for the count usually, in most cases. Tyson was a master at evading punches. His peekaboo style was aggressive. It was quick and explosive. He would sometimes slip six, seven, eight punches while advancing forward, cutting off the ring. Most people defend going backwards, but it was almost magical watching Mike Tyson. He would defend going forward. Tyson's defense was overlooked, but I know a great defender when I see one. He put in hours upon hours of defensive boxing training under the tutelage of Customata. In his prime, he was a beautiful combination of speed and power, and his defense was overlooked and overshadowed by his awesome power. Imagine Tyson, bobbing and weaving at high speed coming forward, ready to unleash on his opponents. That's a lot of pressure. Salute to Mike Tyson. He took the peekaboo style to a whole new level. The art of defense moving on. Hit and not get hit. Tank Davis vs. Leo Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz throws the same punch three times in a row. Let's take a look at Tank's defense and timing. Okay, deflect, then slip and counter. Great knockout, but it all started with the defense. Tank vs. Ryan Garcia. This fight started slow. In the second round, Ryan turned up a little bit and Tank started to use lateral movement. Right here, Ryan opens up. Tank then can defense first, gets under that punch and makes him pay. Hands up, quick step back, duck under and counter. From defense to offense, Tank did a great job controlling distance here. Great positioning, which is also a major part of defense but is frequently overlooked. Many times with power punches, that defensive style is swept aside by fight fans, anticipating the big punch, waiting for the big knockout. You can't speak about defense without mentioning the man himself, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd finished his boxing career with the best plus minus ever. In his early career known as Pretty Boy Floyd, he was really aggressive, offensively attacking at all times. He was extremely fast with quick feet. He would hop in, unleash his deadly combinations, and dart back out of range. Why does this work for you? Because classic Mayweather style. Okay, here. If, okay. if a guy shoots jab, I can pick his jab. Right. If a guy shoots jab, I can pick his jab. If he, if he, if he, if he come around the hook, I, I catch the hook right here. Pick his jab right, right. here, catch the hook right here. If he shoots the right hand, I do like this, then I roll back and come. Right. So it's more like, I, I, I can roll my shoulder and come here. I can roll my shoulder and come here. I can roll my shoulder and come here. And I can pick his shots like this. Either way, or I can slide under. All right. And I got my own fucking defense, man. That's the Mayweather. I got my own style in box. That's the Floyd Mayweather style. My dad taught my dad taught me to show the rope. Mm. But the thing is this, I don't care, and I'm not talking about my dad, I don't care who done it first. Mm. It's mine because I mastered it. Mm -hmm. So anytime somebody said it, uh, and somebody said the Philly shell. I mean, I love no, my thing is this, I love Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the city, the city of brotherly love. Mm -hmm. I love all the fighters. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's that's the Mayweather defense. Mm -hmm. Floyd's specialty was the Philly shell and the shoulder roll. 
Floyd had the total package. His transition from defense to offense, then back to defense was astonishing. As Floyd got older and moved up in weight, he fine-tuned his defense with a high ring IQ, ring awareness, great timing, spacing, positioning. Floyd had layers upon layers of defense. Pretty Boy Floyd was savage with a 90% knockout ratio. He really let his hands go and fought often. But as Money May, he fought a lot less and also had a lot less knockout. He did land big punches on Money May. He could stand right in front of you and pick off shots with the shoulder roll. Chin tucked behind the left shoulder with the forearm covering the ribs to block the right hand. And he would use his right hand held high around the chin to block the left hook. This takes extreme high level training, anticipation, and stamina, almost to perfection. Many boxers use this defensive style, but Floyd was the best at it. When you add in the lateral movement, reverse steps, clinching, and counter punching with accuracy, he was always a tough candidate in the ring and usually could get the knockout or get his hands raised at the end with unanimous decision. Whether in the center of the ring or with his back on the ropes, Mayweather's defense was hard to penetrate, and his transition from defense to offense was a thing of beauty. Mayweather had been doing the shoulder roll since the age of four years old and improved throughout the years. Thanks for watching The Art of Defense, Episode 1. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Peace.